Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean Boy with Momentum360. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a virtual tour with Google's Tour Creator technology. So all you really need to do is go to this URL right here, arvr.google.com slash tour creator. <clears throat> Essentially, what we're going to do is actually combine a bunch of different popular spots in my hometown in Philadelphia and kind of just show you guys some historical sites, some sporting sites, some really interesting stuff. So all you need to do is get started. And first and foremost, you wanna be signed into the correct Google account. So if you're in a company account and you want your personal, make sure you change that and vice versa, right? So you can see right here, I did some drafts kind of going to do the same thing. And this interface, it kind of reminds me of YouTube, right? Where you have a title, description, category, and the cover photo, which for YouTube would be the thumbnail. So for this, I kind of want to make a little marketing piece and show off my company, Momentum360. So the title of this is going to be uh, Virtual Tour of Philadelphia, because we're going to be showing off Philly. Description be something like check out this awesome virtual tour of the city of brotherly live And then here's guys where you can actually steal a free backlink from Google. So copy and paste If you liked this tour, please check out paste Let me format that a little better I don't know why that does that. Please check out for more awesome VR content. And you'll see on the back end when I publish this, you'll be able to actually click into this. And so it's a little free backlink. If, if you guys want to go to Moz Domain Authority, you can actually check the domain authority of this link, poly.google.com. Pretty sure it's high, like probably in the 90s because Google's 100. So some variation. This is probably like at least 90, I think. But just check it out and uh, leave it in the comments below. I'm actually curious of what it is. So you have your cover photo, title, description. Now you're going to pick the category. And you can see there's a plethora of categories right here. For this one, we're going to be using places and scenes because we're just showing off you know, places and scenes. right? Pretty self-explanatory. And then this is where the magic happens. So this is pretty cool. You can actually go to Google Street View. It's going to automatically take you there. And you can put in any place that you want. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. I want to start off with City Hall in Philadelphia. <clears throat> you can search anything in the entire world. But for this, I just want to keep it all Philly. So yeah, this is pretty cool. This is inside. This is where the current Mayor Kenny works out of. If you guys remember, Philadelphia was the first capital of America way back in the day. And uh, I believe it still should be the America's capital. But room for debate. <laughs> um, so once you have this, you want to add the scene. Let me move myself up here so you can see the set starting view. And this is really important because the default view would just be this. And sure, a bunch of tourists are nice, but you want to kind of focus on the architecture of the building, not necessarily the tourists. So for this, I know there's a lot of people. So I guess right, right here. That'd be fine. So what you're going to do, uh, I, I like to just copy and paste the, the title. So fill up your city hall. Perfect. If you wanted to add a description, you have 500 characters to do so. Any credit, giving the credit to the person who actually took this photo. It's always a nice thing to do. If you want to put in some audio or narration, all you have to do is just drop an audio file. Really, really easy. Uh, any other points of interest, you can actually like pinpoint, okay, like what is this? This is like some compass, I believe, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, so pretty easy. We're going to add the next scene and keep it rocking and rolling. So the next thing, obviously, Philadelphia, it's kind of synonymous with the Liberty Bell. So Liberty Bell. And then boom. That's so sweet. <clears throat> So you can see right here, you can add the scene. Sure, we don't want a bunch of tourists, 
in the starting view. So that's why you want to save it as such. And yeah, just keep it simple. So the Liberty Bell, this is what the title, description credit, uh, points of interest. We don't want to do anything with that. Um, yeah, so I think we're good for this one. Let's move on. So last but not least, I'm a huge, huge Philadelphia Eagles fan. So the Eagles play at Lincoln Financial Field. I know this isn't historical. So for all the history buffs out there, started to disappoint you on the last one, but got to get my Eagles in there some, some way for sure. Isn't that beautiful? Full 360 of the whole, whole place. So when I was, fun fact, when I was the last game, because with COVID and stuff, no one, you, you can't go on the link. I was like right here. I was, uh, it was great. I think I was like seven or eight years old too. It was a long time ago. But anyway, you want to save that? Copy and paste it like we just did for the other two. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So we set the starting view. And then what I would do is just back out real quick. So you can actually get a preview of your tour. So let me put myself right here. So you can see this is the cover. This is the title, description, category. And once you're good to go, you can kind of check out, all right, like what's the starting locations? What do they look like? And this is, as you can see, all of the starting locations that I put in. So they're all, <clears throat> excuse me, they're all synced. Something else I want to show you guys is, I don't want to delete it. If you want to go back in this and add a scene, you can actually upload your own 360 or 180 degree image. So pretty cool. Um, for me, I actually have a Google uh, Trusted Photographer license. So I am verified by Google. So I have a bunch of photos up there. You guys can steal mine. I don't really care. Um, but for all sakes and purposes, I just think it's easier to use Google Street View. Um, but hey, if you want to be creative and, and use your own, you could do so too. So once we're good to go with that, you can publish it. So you can go to, this is going to be your link. So for all those SEO nerds and buffs out there like myself, if you want to just take this link, go to HTTPS poly.google.com. You can find out the domain authority. But for this, we're just going to check out the tour. So like I said in the beginning, this is just going to be a splice of a, a bunch of different 360 panos. Uh, this isn't necessarily the Google Street View or Matterport tour in the sense where you're taking one location and you're just walking through it with a tour. This is more so you have a location, you have some city or you have some, I don't know, like Paris or some kind of location and you're just showing off different points. That's what I think really is a, a tremendous um, value and beneficial for for this, um, the tour creator with Google. I think that's a, it serves a really, really, really solid purpose, right? So just so you guys can confirm, here is a backlink from Google. So you can go to your website and you, can, you know, see it's legit. And yeah, so you can like it, share it, edit it, whatever you want to do. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So at City Hall, that's Liberty Bell. I wish that they made it so we could edit the, oh, I can't, you guess you can move it. Okay, cool. I was going to say, I don't want it to cut off, you know, completely now. And then the link. So, yeah. So pretty cool stuff, guys. Uh, if you like this, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, leave that in the comments below as well. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. Um, guys, thank you so much for the support and we'll see you on the next one.